Hi guys and welcome to Thursday Theory. So again we're reading from this book, Think and Grow Rich. So I want to talk to you a bit about desire today, about burning desire because a lot of you have a burning desire to make more money, to live um, a life that suits you better, to live a life that's built around you where you're not burning out all the time, where you don't have to listen to somebody who maybe you know tells you to do things that you know are not really that exciting. You want to live life on your terms and this is really important. So um, as you know we were talking about Edwin Barnes and we do this Thursday theory every week to help you understand a bit more about success mindset. So um, Think and Grow Rich is one of my favourite books, I haven't read it all the way through yet. Uh, but Bob Proctor, the Canadian multimillionaire who taught him, um, who taught me, um, he used to read this every day for 60 years and uh, it did him a lot of good, let's just say that. So let's introduce this to you. Now not many people have heard of this book, um, it's not a very expensive book, it's very easy to read, please don't be put off by the fact that it's 1937 and um, everybody should just get this and um, we're going to be doing a lot more about this particular book in the community if you become part of that. So, um, Let's go back to reading about Barnes. So if you um, remember, Barnes was um, the business associate or became the business associate of Thomas Edison, who obviously invented the light bulb, something which we all benefit from. And um, we saw a little bit about uh, Mr. Edison's uh, story about how he was actually sent home from school uh, with a letter when he was in primary school saying that basically your son is too stupid to teach um, how wrong they were. And um, Barnes was pretty much the same. So we were talking about how Barnes, um, Edwin Barnes, decided that he, that's what he'd like to do. He'd like to be the number one business partner with Edison, not work for him, be the partner with him. Um, but he had a couple of issues. One was he couldn't afford the train fare to get to there. And uh, two, he didn't know anyone who knew Edison. So it was kind of a non-starter, but Edwin Barnes did not give up. He had what's called a burning desire. Let's get back to reading about his story and how he got on. So, when Edwin Barnes climbed down from the freight train in Orange, New Jersey, more than 30 years ago, remember this was born in 1937, so about late 1800s, bear in mind, he resembled a tramp, but his thoughts were those of a king. As he made his way from the railroad tracks to, Thomason's, uh, to Thomas A. Edison's office, his mind was at work. He saw himself standing in Edison's presence. He heard himself asking for Mr Edison the opportunity to carry out the one consuming obsession of his life, a burning idea to, become, to become a business associate with the great inventor. Barnes' desire, now to this, Barnes' desire was not hope. It was not a wish. It was a keen, pulsating desire which transcended everything else. It was definite. I'm actually going to stop there, although I've not read very much. Definite definite aim. How many people do you know, and you can ask this of yourself, do you know who do not have a definite aim in life? Most of us. And this is a huge problem I think, particularly for us young people uh, and in the western world, is that we're kind of told, you know, you get good grades and you go to uni, but there's no kind of definite aim at the end of that, we kind of make it up as we go along. And a lot of people fall into a job, and that used to scare me to death, um, because I just don't want to like just, I have only got one life, I don't know about you, I've only got one life, I'm not a cow's cat, I don't have nine lives, um, but I don't want to waste my life doing things that maybe don't serve me, I don't want a mediocre life, I don't want to get to the end of life going, well I guess it was, you know, it was, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I don't want to live life like that and I think a lot of people do. And we go around just kind of accepting what is. And it's it's said, um, and Earl Nightingale actually says this in The Stranger's Secret, which is you should definitely watch. It's on YouTube. It's completely free. Um, and he said the opposite of um, cowardice is in, uh, opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice, it is conformity. People conforming, doing the same thing as everyone else without knowing why and without knowing where they're going. Now, if you want more money, if you want... Uh, more peace of mind if you want better relationships, if you want whatever it is you want, and you might not know yet what you want, and this is why I do what I do, um, then, you know, you're going to have to do something about it. It doesn't just fall from the sky. And um, I think so many of us, and I've done this before, I've, I've fallen into the trap. I used to have a book, um, I found it the other day, 2017, 2018, um, and I've written in it what I want, and I've written it kind of 
you flip the pages and I've written it like a few pages later, I've written it a few pages later and I've written things, quotes when I was started to, you know, when I started to step into personal development, I started listening to people like uh, Earl Nightingale and Jim Rohn and uh, Dr. Dennis Waitley and, and these sorts of people. Um, and, you know, I never followed through because um, it wasn't a burning desire. It was at the time that I wrote it and then I put it down and carried on with life. And uh, obviously I forgot and then I had a few pages later I'm writing it again. So there's this inconsistency and, um, you know, this book is, is amazing. It actually has a formula uh, on the next page actually about how to um, create more money. There's like a, a six step process or whatever it is you want actually to get that into your mind to make it a burning desire. Um, and I can't believe this book is not, you know, given to pretty much everybody. Um, at school, you know, a 10 year old could read this, no problem, it's not, you know, it's not oldy worldy language, put it that way, um, you know, it's not you shall whatever it is that people used to write back in the day, um, it's it's a very easy read and, um, you know, I, I really do want to ask you that question today about burning desire, do you have a burning desire? If you kind of have an idea, make it clear, write down what you want, most of us will never allow ourselves to consider what we want it's, it's kind of taboo to say oh I want more money oh I would like you know I would like a better house because it's like this situation oh well you should be you know you're only in your 20s you know you should be grateful for what you have oh well you're only just out of university of course you're going to be in tons of debt right you're not going to have any money and it's like well actually I, I would like to live a life of freedom I would like to live life on my terms no I don't want to work every day of the week that, and then every hour that God sends I want a life that works around me. I want I want a prosperous life. So really think about that today. Um, and I hope that this has really helped you uh, concentrate your mind. Um, as you know, we are all about life purpose and direction here and um, about using the power of the mind to succeed and get what you want. Um, so that's it from me and I will see you tomorrow. You take care.